Vigo Mundu dumplings from South Korea. Are you excited this time? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> well, here they are. They're ready. They look good. They smell good. We did air fried dumplings today. You can pan fry them or steam them. But I've never air fried a dumpling before and these ones let you. So good time to try it. We've got mini mandu prawn dumplings and then uh, full sized kimchi flavored dumplings. We're not South Korean, so excuse the pronunciation. Korean number one dumpling brand. That's right. Only 2014 to 2022 though. 2023 is not completed yet. <laughs> it should claim that crown too. Should. After we, after we review them and give them the big thumbs up if they're good. A discovery worth sharing at Bobigo. We make more than just food. We have a contagious zeal for sharing thousands of years of time-honoured craft to bring you an authentic Korean culinary experience. We obsess over every detail of our products because it's our passion to bring you the most authentic and delicious flavours with unprecedented convenience. We know what it takes to make food that brings people together. Simple to enjoy, definitely worth sharing. That's nice. Okay, well, we are together, so it's, it's brought us to this moment. Here we are. All right. What are we starting with? The mini ones? Might as well. And it's a good time to test out our chopstick skills. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make a mess. How are you going to do it? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, no, it can't. They're Jeez. too hard. <laughs> yeah. All right. No wonder we don't use chopsticks on this channel. I can't do it. I'm going to use my fingers. That's too hard. Ooh, wait for me. I don't want to. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Too easy. Too easy. Do you not drip that? Can I get this in my mouth or not? That is very crunchy. Hmm, the batter is quite interesting actually. It's more like um, a rice crispy sort of thing. Interesting in the air fryer. I've never had an air fried dumpling. Yeah, me neither. This is a bit strange. Interesting. It's not bad. It's a funny texture, isn't it? Like, it's not like a deep fried thing. It's like glassy, like a toffee type of thing. You know that texture that toffee gives you, that crunch? Inside is very squishy still. Hmm. Oh, you're so cool. No, you do a good job. Now, you don't you don't love seafood sometimes. What do you reckon? Prawn dumplings. It's okay, it's not bad. I did eat prawn earlier today. Were these better or worse than what you had? Not as good. These are not as good. No. Oh, the bigo. What the heck? <laughs> it's slippery. No, I was. Look, look, that's not slippery at all. You do it again. I can't. I am not Asian, obviously. See, I can't do it. <laughs> that's because you're holding them so weird. That's how I hold chopsticks. Look at this. Open. Look at hers, crossed over. Like a. Five year old using chopsticks. Oh, she's gonna throw that. <laughs> you wanna kill you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't wanna waste food though. See? Chopsticks. Mm. So hard. See? Okay, people, that was low level chopstick use, okay? I wanna make fried rice very soon and then watch <laughs> her eat fried rice with chopsticks. Alright. That's easy, you just hold the bowl and shove it in. Let's go to the full size one. More chopstick skills. No, I'm just gonna hold uh, it. Oh, this one is soft. Look, that's squishy. It had less time in the air fryer than the prawn ones. What's your sauce? Soy and chili. 
Yeah. Someone's also in pickle jar chin. Mine mm. has sesame oil in it as well. I like this one. This is nice. Now it's a bit soft and crunchy at the same time. Can I see the inside? Oh, this one's interesting. It's like eggy inside. I like this one. It's nice. Kimchi flavoured dumplings. Linda likes kimchi. They're gonna do a raw kimchi episode soon. Hmm. Yummy. I think the texture on this full size one's better as well. It's more balanced. It's got some crunch, some soft. Hmm. It's got more filling as well, so it's um yeah. More complex. More interesting. Do you want to bite into one, like a half prawn one, and then let's see what's in the middle? This one's half squishy, it might be good. Mm. Oh, it does look squishy in the middle, it looks like nothing. Yeah, I don't know. This one doesn't really do it for me. No. Good to try though. You don't usually get these sort of Korean dumplings like that. Not bad as a snack though. Stick them in the air fryer for a bit. Very easy. You need to put them in a bowl and coat them in oil and put them in the air fryer for... These ones are 12 minutes in the air fryer at 185. And these are 10 minutes at 180. They do smoke up your house a bit though from the oil. Probably better if you use a higher smoking... Oil. So, what would you rate these? Well, the prawn one, I don't know, I don't really like that too much, but it can have a 6 out of 10, not too bad. So not the number one Korean dumpling? Well, dumpling brand. This is the same brand, yes? This one actually I really like, like it's probably one of the best kimchi ones I've had so far. The best kimchi dumplings you've had? Yes. I really like them air fried too. Okay. And the way they came out, how they're a little bit soft and a little bit crunchy. It's good. All right. Well, you can buy these two packets for $8.50 full price from Woolworths. If you go to some food lands around South Australia, you can get double sized packets for about 16 bucks. And they've got more flavors as well. So, Linda reckons you should get these bigger ones rather than the mini ones. Yes, these big ones. They're getting a 10 from me. Holy moly. Oh no. Holy moly. I like them. The prawn ones from me can have a 7. These can have like an 8.5. 10? Yes. Jeez. They're not. I told you. They're like the best kimchi ones I've had. For someone who can't use chopsticks, that's a pretty high score. <laughs> Whatever. Right. I challenge you to find me better ones. Okay. You. See ya. Yeah.